Hello, my friends, and welcome back to another replay cast here from the ladder. We've got Speed spawning in the top right-hand corner. AK Sexy, AK 10-Minute Flash, and his opponent down in the bottom left is Rain. Rain has been putting up a ton of games lately. I've got a bunch coming down the pipe here. I think he's preparing for his next run at the ASL. And you know, Rain, he doesn't take anything too seriously. He's much more of a streamer than a StarCraft professional player. But he that doesn't stop him from placing very high in nearly every ASL. He is incredibly, incredibly talented. We love to see games from him. So we're going on a bit of a Rain spree here coming up. Because he's been putting out games on the ladder like crazy. And of course, speed here in the top right. We've been seeing him a lot lately as well. He's playing at a pretty high level and has been showing some very nice, interesting gameplay. Um, we haven't seen him much in TVP, though. Mostly we've been watching his TVZ, so I thought this might be an interesting game to check out. This was played in January of 2024. Just this week, in fact. Sorry, guys. Last cast... I think I said December 2024. That was my bad. My mistake. Just a bit of a mix up there. I don't know what I was thinking. But it is a fresh replay from the ladder here. Just finished off in this past week. And are we going to be seeing a zealot here from Rain? No, no zealot. Instead, just going to wait for that 50 gas to start up his first dragoon. And we'll see what Nexus timing he wants to go for. How greedy he wants to get with this build. He hasn't done a scout yet. So he's just going to be scouting with his first Dragoon. And yeah, he's still got to wait for that uh, Cybernet score to finish. I totally forgot about that. Again, not a Protoss player. But that's something I should definitely know. He's got that gas. He's going to start the Dragoon. And then he should be starting the range here shortly after. So... Waiting quite a long time to get that scout on on the map. Meanwhile, Speed sending the scout around. is going to get in here and see everything. Just before the Dragoon pops out, I think. But the timing here is pretty close. Yeah, it looks like the SCV just gets in before the Dragoon pops out. So he won't be able to block the ramp and he won't be able to deny the scout here. He's going to see the range. And that's all Speed needs to see. But Rain, I don't think he actually needs to see anything. At least he doesn't think he needs to anyway. He's just going to send out his probe to go ahead and grab that expo. And the unfortunate part about Protoss buildings, which is something I think that Blizzard just kind of forgot about or they didn't uh, end up putting into the game, is that the, the Protoss building doesn't show anything, any sign that it's actually producing something. So not able to see that the uh, Nexus was thrown down before second Dragoon. Not that that's going to matter a huge amount. But yeah, all the uh, Terran buildings show when something is being produced. Of course, the eggs show when they're producing. Some of the uh, Terran struct or some of the Zerg structures uh, show when they're researching things. Others don't. Actually, I think none of them show when you're doing research, do they? Yeah, I'm not 100% on that, but I think none of the Zerg structures show anything being researched. But, of course, you can see what's being produced. And then some of the Protoss structures show when something is being produced. And some of them show when things are being researched, but others just do not show a single thing. Like the gateway. No sign that it's going to be popping out a unit soon. And, uh... Dragoon just slipping its way in here, checking to see the bo uh, that the uh, CC is being made. Looks like I think we got a kill on a probe here. That was the scouting probe heading back across the map. Did get picked off there. And since we've confirmed the CC, just going to sit out front here and keep bashing away at that uh, bunker. But uh-oh, speed coming out with the tank here. Getting quite a bit of damage onto this goon. The goon will have to retreat back across the map. So it does have one kill. I believe that was from the SCV earlier. Vulture going to slip around the top side here of the uh, 9 o'clock base. 
I don't think it'll be able to get out of here unscathed. Oh, will trigger one mine. Not too bad. Getting some damage out of that at least. And the army is coming across the map right now for speed. So speed going for a very quick little timing attack here. Is there going to be enough goons to hold this off? Looks like he's going to catch this vulture right off the bat. We'll lose a dragoon for that. No, dragoon survives. Only one of the mines connect there. Although both of them did explode, only one mine's damage uh, was actually felt there by the Dragoon. So, a lot of Dragoons on low HP here for the defense. A Vulture going to try and slip by. He will be able to get up here into the main base. At the same time, coming in to the natural. Going to split the attention right now of Rain. Try to deal as much damage as he can. Kills off one Dragoon. I heard another one die in the main base here. Seems like to a mine. Looks like he will end up picking off this tank. Not much he can do about that speed. Gonna just try and target down this one goon if he can get it. That would be nice. He does get that, and he will get the Nux Dragoon as well with that mine. Very nicely done. Rain making some errors here. He's gonna lose a probe, but he's killed the tank, and he's forced back this attack. Kind of a crazy moment there. But Rain is going to hold on for now. Speed really getting uh, creative with his little timing push there. Going to be getting a second machine shot. This is not as typical in the current meta, but second machine shot will net you a lot more tanks. He's going to probably be more passive from now on, though. And Rain spotting that. He sees the five fact. And the second machine shot with the armory spinning. I think he's probably right to assume that this is going to be a third base play. Here on Polypoid. It's a lot easier than some of the other maps to get a third base. Another Vulture slipping in here. Does get two more kills. Nicely done. Speed. Able to get in and deal some damage. True to his name at 450 APM here. Still at 7 minute 30. Absolutely one of the speediest players we have. But will he be able to transfer... What little advantages he's gleaned here in the early game into a late game win over Rain. It's going to be a tough task. They call him 10 minute flash because he's able to play the game like flash for the first 10 minutes, but rarely is he ever able to convert that, you know, into a late game macro on the caliber of someone like flash. Gets another vulture in, gets one or two kills and gets picked off. The constant aggression with the vultures has led to Rain sitting back pretty passively here. So, actually, I think we're gonna see uh, we're gonna see him move out now. We're gonna see speed go across the map. Is he actually gonna attack here? I thought he was gonna take a third, but it seems like he's going across the map right now. Is this a mistake? Reaver is about to pop out. We're about to have a shuttle speed here as well. Oh, he's already got a Reaver, so a second Reaver going to come out here pretty soon. And this is a push-stopping army for sure. Let's see how Rain manages to uh, hold on against this. Nice mine here at the back, but good targeting there by Rain. Going to stop that from dealing much damage. Picks up the Reaver as well. Gets another shot off on a tank. Speed setting up here. But Zealots are going to be dropped on top of this. One shot should be able to kill all the SCVs. He gets one SCV. Gonna drop another one there. Oh, the uh, Reaver took that damage from the mine, but at least he picked off the tank. He's gonna get the tank here on the left-hand side as well. Good pulling back here. Not gonna eat these mines. No, he does eat one mine. Almost loses all those Dragoons, but he will hang on to the majority of them. Some Vultures moving around this bottom side. Not gonna be able to get in and kill any probes here. And Speed, does he have what it takes to push through this? I don't think so. He doesn't have any Goliaths to actually push this back. So it's going to be very hard to tackle this Reaver shuttle combo. Rain going to go across the map right now. I don't know if he can get in here. We've got the turret. Turret in position. Second turret's going to hit this. Is he going to lose the shuttle? He does. He loses the shuttle. Big, big loss there for Rain. Rain on the ropes right now as speed continues to push forward. We do not have Zealot speed right now. But he can drag the mine. Oh, he got to kill that mine. 
I think he did just kill that mine there. And the tanks will be driven back, just barely having the meat in the army of the Protoss to be able to push everything away. We're going to continue this aggression right now. Speed not letting up. After losing the Reaver, there is like a big advantage for the Terran player for quite some time. Not having that Reaver with the shuttle, it's going to make it a lot harder for Rain to hold on. But it seems like he's stabilized despite the losses so far. I don't think that Speed will be able to push this any further. He's going to have to go to a plan B. Getting into his upgrades here. I don't see a starport though. No starport here. He's going to remain on 1-1. One, one. Ooh, we've seen that before from JYJ and... That's not a good style for going into the late game with and throwing away vultures right now. I don't think he's going to be able to, you know, make a push happen anytime soon. If he's going to be throwing away vultures like this all the time. Shuttles coming across the map here. Are we going to be setting up a third base? Shuttle just hanging around this army right now. We don't have any missile turrets here and there's the third base on the way. But fourth base is already coming up here for rain. I think we're we're starting to see the limit of speed. But I can't count him out just yet. Here we go. Shuttle thinking about coming into the natural, but natural still has some defenses there. Army looping around. Vultures gonna be looking for any ex any areas that they can access some probe kills. Where is the starport? There it is. Finally, a starport coming down. So there will be a future here for our Terran player. Although that second attack upgrade heavily delayed in this game. Heavily delayed. He waited all the way until plus one was done on armor after taking the plus one attack. And then he started the starport. So it's going to be quite some time before plus two attack can come up. That upgrade is essential for late game Terran. And it's just not going to be here when Rain decides to make his move. That's a lot of Zealots. You know what Rain is thinking when he starts building that many Zealots? He's thinking about busting a position. He's adding on more shuttles here. He's getting that Zealot speed. And you can bet He's going to be coming across the map with those Zealots in tow and nine more Zealots on the way here. So he is really bumping up that Zealot number. That's a good number of gateways here on four bases. He can absolutely take a fight very, very soon. Will likely be doing so. Zealots spreading out right now. Another shuttle coming up. Shuttle here in the middle with the Reaver in position. Is this going to be the end here? Will Speed be able to hold on against this onslaught of Protoss? He does pick off one Observer before the fight occurs. He gets the second Observer as well, which are great pickoffs here. Looks like the Double Shuttle going to be heading over towards the main base instead. What kind of damage can, uh, can Rain do here in the main right now? Looks like he's going to lose a Shuttle right off the bat, but he's left the Shuttle with the Reaver uh, at full HP. They're going to be able to drop out here with the Reaver. Start to hit these uh, supply depots. He's going to target the middle of this supply depot. This stack here of supply depots. And all four of them are going to end up going down in very quick order. Meanwhile, an attack here onto this high ground. The third base is going to be breached here. A lot of Zealots melting away. But another wave of Zealots going to meet this army here. Look at the Zealots just pouring in right now. And speed is being decimated. He's got nothing left here on this high ground. His reinforcements coming uh, up from the natural are going to be overwhelmed by all these zealots as well. And Rain is just running away with this game. I don't think we've even seen this get cleared up yet. Okay, it did get cleared up. The Reaver ended up falling. But Rain has done so much damage. He's killed a ton of SCVs. He's reset that tank count. And we don't even have plus two on the way, guys. What happened to that plus two? It never started. We're still sitting here on plus one. 
and speed has completely fallen apart. This is the limit, I think, of speed. We found it. At this point in the game, he's just not able to keep it together. Quite like those other players, quite like these other professionals. Rain under so much pressure in the early game, being threatened like crazy, losing his early Reaver. That push was very, very scary, but he keeps his cool throughout all that pressure, handles it brilliantly, and now he's in a fantastic position to take this game. His upgrades are coming through, and the Terran upgrades are just now starting with that plus two on the way. It's going to be a long time before we can get more upgrades rolling here. Two more shuttles making their way over here towards the natural. He's going to go for it. There are two turrets and a lot of units, but here comes the storms. Big storms on top of all of this. Wow. Huge, huge damage there from these storms. Killing a ton of SCVs, and I don't think we're going to get a, to see how many kills this Archon has. Nine. I saw nine there at the end. Nine and two. So some pretty decent storms there overall, killing off a lot of SCVs and killing some vultures as well. But the bigger story here is the overall economy of rain, which is completely out of control at this point. On five bases, he's going to be able to add on even more gateways. Tons of Templar, tons of shuttles. Are we going to go double? Yeah, there it is. Double robotics. Pumping out two shuttles at a time. He spots this base down here. And I think that his heart just sank. Speed's heart has got to be sinking here. Realizing that this base has been taken. Is fully saturated and has tons of cannons already prepared. In the meantime, he's just going to be defending his high ground here at his third. With everything he's got and hoping he doesn't break at this point. Coming forward now. Dragoons are getting splattered a little bit. Here comes the storms. Does he get one storm? Beautiful storm here on that high ground. Dealing a lot of damage. And Zealots are just going to run a train on this Terran army. R overwhelming this position. More Zealots making their way up here from the south as well. Looks like they're not going to be able to completely crush this beautiful mind drag there into the middle of all those vultures. But... Once again, the tank count has been reset. We only have three tanks remaining here for speed. Speed is just about out of this game, guys. With only 49 workers. Plus two is about to finish. He's going to try and push with three tanks. Rain is making 11 Dragoons right now. You're not going to kill him with three tanks. That's just never going to happen. A fourth tank arrives, so now maybe he can get something done. I'm just kidding. Here comes some more storms. Going to start to kill even more SUVs here, making another Archon as well. There's some more storms. This has got to be it. Just crushing the economy here. Rain, absolute godlike. GG is called. Speed taps out, and Rain is victorious. Oof, you got to feel it there for speed, man. His... Upgrades were so late though. No, he was putting on a lot of pressure to Rain in the early game, but Rain so calm and collected, handling everything. You can see he's really always in form, it seems. He's been practicing a lot lately on ladder, so look forward to more games from Rain. Hope to find him against some more worthy opponents here on ladder to really showcase his skills going into this ASL season, guys. I'll see you in that next video.